floor be a dawn tread. And it's pretty bad shit, by the way. Just like so freaking good here. How's everything going? It's going well. I'm uh having a lot of chronic pain this week, so I've been taking it easy. I took yesterday off. Uh but overall life is going well. Lots of good things happening. I should have thought about this longer. And I don't really have many outs here, right? Like I could hit Drew the Reef off Aquatic. I probably should have looked for that to be honest, even though it's unlikely. He's doing a very aggressive play here. Because now I could look for spammy next turn if he goes like a uh, Murloc here. Could have gone for planted evidence for some sort of clear as well. Maybe that was correct. This might, I might not be respecting this enough, but I hate not doing a tempo play, so it's tough. Let's see what he's got here. Oh. Man, wow. <laughs> I called that bluff and I didn't even realize it. Wow. I can't believe he was bluffing there. Uh, all right. Um, oh, do I just go alignment next turn? I could just go alignment. That might be the play. It kind of is, right? It's like kind of really good, Get actually. In my belly! Like right on Come curve on. with nourish in hand, you know. Like. I could just die, which is a problem. <laughs> oh. Do I take Insatiable here and not take the free card draw? There's a case. Because it's going to be a one mana Insatiable, which is really nice. But also, like, <laughs> look at Earthen. I think I take the Earthen here. Um, uh, it's, it's annoying, though. Insatiable is quite good. I could also bail on the whole plan, but uh, I can go ramp Miracle Growth or the next turn, which is pretty good. Uh, maybe I do take the, uh, it's probably Brand though. I just hope he doesn't, all right, I'm gonna take the Brand. I don't know, this is dumb. No cost of it. All right. See if this is suicide. The guitar is insane in these spots. Mm -hmm. For him to win reliably, I feel like he needs to set up a two turn lethal here. It's his like best chance. I do have this miracle growth. If it doesn't set up the two turn, I'm in a pretty good spot because I'm very likely to get plays for two turns, right? Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? 
buddy. <laughs> no, Kava. Did 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 EU is just no competition though, you know. So, so you know, it's not like the Antarctica server where all the hotties are. So. Alright, hit scale, that's phenomenal. I for you. Oh, yeah. Naga deck, learning from the stream. Awesome, Chris. Dude, it's a good, it's the, I mean, it's the best deck in the game, in my opinion. I mean, the stats agree with me. Beast Hunter is like the most likely of success, but I think Beast Hunter is, I don't think it's as good as Naga Priest when you put the time into mastery. No one can stop us. Oh, God. That is a nice little buff he got there. That is a nice little buff. All right. He's, He's going for the damage. Oh, the damage to the face. It hurts shit. Ooh, I hit the, I hit the good card. Okay, so I have a raid boss. What do I do with the rest of my mana? Oh, I could do BGBM here. <laughs> it's actually kind of nutty. Oh, it's actually kind of nutty, right? Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm. How scared am I? I can go devour here. I can go trade, trade, trade to trade, trade, devour. And that might be too fast for them to answer. Um, I kind of like that. That seems pretty good, chat. That seems pretty good. <laughs> oh, that seems pretty good to me. What do you guys think? Good play? Good play? Uh, hey, Lico. Um, he gonna die. There's no out here. There's no out. You could freeze one of them. I'm gonna BGBM and you're gonna die. He needs to be smart. He freezes this one. Eh, it doesn't even matter. Well Dude, EU nobody plays aggro, so I've like I've, uh, I'm just gonna go play Ram Druid. Dude, you can't get away with this on NA, but I can play the greedy decks over here, you know. Naga Priest, yeah, that's what I mean, Taracha. Uh, it, there's a lot more mechanical mastery going into it. Shaman and Priest. This is. Uh, are we playing on NA today? Maybe. I don't know. I uh, think I'm not gonna go out. I went out. Yeah. But yeah, I've been having a lot of chronic pain, so I'm still. What shall I play? <laughs> it's really the end of her stone. Dude, I have been playing aggro. I mean, Naga Priest is combo board aggro. It's it's with Naga uh, combo priest is one of my favorite archetypes of all time. So it's not like you know, but. Mm. 
Ooh, this hand though. I mean, this is actually not that good. It's, it's fine. We have a. Uh... Ah, Chad, who am I? I see you brought guests. I cut Theotar. I decided I don't want him. He's just kind of awkward. Um. Ah, I see you brought guests. <laughs> Yeah, plus my opponent can't steal my Theotar now that I don't have one. So that's a huge improvement to the deck. <laughs> See, Chad, you, you cut all the good cards because then your opponent can't steal any of stuff. Why does it not uh, have any skin below? Uh, because because uh, I'm a I'm a I have a ghost. <laughs> More ghost, dude. Face, 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 face. Ah, Chad, they can't resist the face. So they die. Wait, what are they running this? If you control location, discover a card in your deck. Wait, they're actually running. I didn't even chat. I did not even know this was a card. Not gonna lie, I did not realize this was a card. This card looks terrible. Like it's not even good when you have the location, and it's such a like win more. Am I right? I did not even know this was a card. Wait, they did? It's wow. Dude, VS like dude dude VS if they say a card is good, I'm listening, you know, because they got the data, you know? That's interesting. Man. Yeti was upside. <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, they got it. Wait, is it a copy of a card? Oh, so they can get even more locations. This is annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Um, am I gonna get wrecked here? If I go scale here to clear, I probably go scale so I can go this the next turn, right? It's just hmm. so. Do I trade here? Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I think I just. Six, seven. Trade here, one, two, three, four, five, six. But you only could get one extra copy because, and it's unlikely, right? Because you need a relic in play or, or an extra, oh, no, oh, the vault, the location. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's a good point. Okay, maybe it is good. I mean, I'm kind of getting wrecked over here, so that's a strong case for the card. But, uh, yeah. Holy relics. Okay, these relics are getting kind of out of hand over here. I'm kind of about to get wrecked. Oh god, chat. Oh god. This is how it ends. Another relic, dude? Okay, I'm about to get my ass kicked, chat. Okay, yeah, just draw four for reduce four. Turn six, by the way. Turn six, by the Okay, they're, they're making a strong case for this disposed guy. They're making a strong case. Not gonna lie, this case is straight. Oh, dude, and they do this, dude. Oh god, I'm so effed here. How do I win this game? Um, I think I need to like draw something good from Miracle Growth. Uh, I'm about to take like a billion damage here, though. Oh god, Mutanus sucks. 
I guess I could have gone Mutanus in 1-3. I just want to just give up. This is, like, how am I supposed to win this game? Oh, God. I didn't want to. Yeah, I mean, I thought Ping Mage is more fun than Relic. But Relic Demon Hunter is one of the most popular decks out there. AKA, people must like it, all right? But what did Banter get number one with? Did he get number one with, uh, he got one with Fell. But he wasn't running that card, I don't think. No, he doesn't run that card, so. Oh, I'm about to take a bazillion damage here, Chad. What do I? How do I beat this? All right, I think I have to go Moonlit, hit Scale, clear some of this stuff off, and then I don't know. I don't know actually how to win here. This looks pretty grim. There's a lot of damage, Chad. Oh, I'm just, I, I'm gonna give up, chat. Even if I hit scale, it's not a win here. Like, I go trade, 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 that's lethal. So, uh, it's over. Man, that was, that was a lot of mana cheating. I thought Druid was supposed to be the mana class. What is this, I guess? Furion versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Oh, this is a very bad matchup. I'm pretty sure Nolan is playing a uh, combo, not not Naga Priest, the Blessed Priest. At least we have a very good hand, right? I wonder if I ever keep Raid Boss. Like with this hand, I feel like I can get away with it. I think I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I can go. I go coin this on two, then I go innervate uh, Guff and start hero powering. You're tempoing this out, you jerk! Oh my god. Uh, I'm so effed here, chat. I'm so effed. <clears throat> You're gonna keep that against a full keep, dude? You're gonna tempo that out? Oh god, I'm so dead. I mean, I just need the top deck Drew to the Reef and we're actually we're fine, right? Chat, uh, imagine this were old guff. We'd actually be fine here. There's always a bunch of ramp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, we're gonna high roll here though. And hit a Drew to the Reef. Mm, Drew to the Reef. The Drew to the Reef. Oh god, what do I do here? 
Does it have? I have two Druid of the Reefs. You know, I have a Starfish in my deck. Oh god, oh, he's coming the Naga lady. Alright, um... So I can ramp up to eight, and then I, uh, then I can't even raid boss the next turn. Maybe I, if I top decked a nourish, uh, if I top decked ramp, I might be okay here. Um, am I gonna die? A four mana card here. It's not the end of the world. Top deck scale. Top deck. Um, God. I'm getting my ass kicked here. Starfish is pretty good here. We Because it's on curve. We get a hero power in. But we have to ramp here. So it's like. Oh, that's phenomenal, chat. It's actually a phenomenal top deck here. Sets us up for potential win here. Because now we have 10 mana. Maybe they have a bad turn, chat. Copium. <laughs> Copium, maybe a bad turn, and I could get, get to go raid boss here. Maybe will we top deck insatiable? I don't know. Maybe we top deck. We also could go draw three, look for uh, Starfish, right? <laughs> no, 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 they got 12 cards left. They never have uh, another minion here, right? Oh god, this doesn't look good. Yeah, this is what they call all E. I mean, if I could draw a starfish here, I'm actually might just be fine. They have bless here though. Oh, bless is annoying. Yeah, and by fine I mean still dead. <laughs> Can I get like double big game hunter here? Oh god, there's no out here, right? Like, uh. I, have, I can't even kill it! Uh, chat, the... It was a good game, but... Uh, star, I drew the starfish, chat, and I still lose. I swear I had the perfect hand this game, and I still lost. That's why... It, I know, right, a young hero? Alright. What is it in one class? And, uh, Druid's still uh, playable. I mean, okay, here's what Blizzard has to do. The people have come to expect nerfs. Uh, so they just keep doing spin the bottle of nerfs, you know. But uh, honestly, the meta's pretty good right now. So uh, it, it is what it is. Um, Druid's still playable. It's just, it just fringe. It's just not. It's not top tier, you know? So, like, Druid lists have over 50% win rate, so.
Alright, here we go. What's wrong with Renathal? Uh, I mean, uh, nothing's wrong with Renathal. Some say Renathal is one of the greatest cards ever to happen. Some say. Some say Renathal. I mean, the only like valid criticism I have I see, I've seen of Renathal that I don't immediately dismiss condescendingly is uh, Renathal does make the game more expensive, you know? Ah, son of a gun, chat. They got this on the one. All right, let's see if I can hit an innervate or... Oh. All right, just take the wild growth and overdraw here. It's fine. Always downsides. Um, see, see how you showed your own bias. Games longer always downside is uh, not true. A lot of people like long games. So more expensive, not even always a downside. Some people want to spend more money and have more cool, like more crazy legendaries. Uh, some people have already spent the money and they like that they can use their money now on those cards. So. What I'm saying is, uh, yeah, exactly what I'm saying, our young hero. Caught this one eating party snacks. Mm. You get spell. Oh yeah, they always pick spell into turn five. It's a foolish play to pick minion. So there's certain spots where you should mix up your play in game theory with the county. Uh, there's certain spots where you should just always do sp spell. Um, you could tell me I'm always picking spell there, and it's so I always know it's in spell, and it's still right to do spell. Her hand's pretty insane here. I mean, so th this is where the game... Oh, chat. I just top decked the best card possible. <laughs> that was a very lucky top deck. Alright, well, we're very ahead here. Just feels wrong now. It is a lot more inefficient. Um... Yeah. Almost always. I don't even agree with the almost always, though, you know? Um, I don't think longer is almost always. I, like, you, you're just saying, you know, a lot of people most memorable. So, um, I mean, it's, it's just, yeah, so. Almost always is like 95%, which I'm, I just, you know. It, it, you're just showing your own bias, which is, you know, which is fine to have a bias. You know, you have your, the way you like to play the game. But, yeah. Mm. Ooh. You know what? I was going to trade with my minions here. What are their likely turn seven plays? They have the seven drop. Um, so that's one, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to trade. Uh, do, do I do? Uh, I basically protect two minions here. Eh, this is coming alive next turn, so I always have something to trade off. I don't know. I think this is right. Like. I think I always win the value war here because I have Bran uh, Topiar here. 
So I think just like making this raid boss as annoying to kill as possible feels correct. Do I ever go brand mutanus here and just eat their hand? Oh, that kind of seems good. Like, even though brand topior is really nice too. Like, they have a bunch of awkward, like, usually they have big beasts in their hand, right? That actually just seems so good. Wait, do I ever have lethal here and I'm missing it? I have uh, another uh, 11. I'm actually so close to lethal. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Do this. Die! Die, Yugi boy! Those are some good eats, chat. You can put on some music. Are we Pegasus? Yeah, 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 yeah. Die, Yuki boy. Seriously though. I am kind of shocked. Um, so you can afford clunky decks uh, in the current game if you have something really powerful in the clunky deck. What does this deck have powerful? It has big beast cheating. Hydraldon's a really strong card. Um, like buffs, it kind of does a bunch of individual things. So I think people think that everything in a deck needs to synergize. And often you're okay with just a few things synergizing. I'm like this close to killing him, right? Um, but I don't quite have it here. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, this is a spell that's very good for us because now we don't get wrecked by the 9-drop. Yeah, I made a video on the Big Beast Hunter. The, the strongest cards in the deck are Hydraldon, the 4-drop uh, the that cheats stuff out, the five drop that pulls out the four drop, uh, the hero card. So you kind of have these few really strong cards and then you have a bunch of kind of like, just generally, and also like wild seeds, just really strong stats, you know? Stuff like that. Hmm.
I think I'm gonna play some Electro Swing today, chat. Kind of what I'm feeling. This one. Is Aggro Druid any good? It's good enough to get the Legend, but there are better Aggro decks. So, uh, you could still play it, but uh, Beast, sort of Beast Druid Hunter is just a lot better. Um, Aggro Druid kind of... Uh, it's a like is bad at the higher ranks. Uh, it, it kind of works because it's just a, a aggressive tempo deck at the low ranks, but it doesn't quite uh, scale at the high ranks. It isn't over between us, brother. You have much to answer for. Hmm. Consider keeping spammy there, but I think I'm just better off hitting ramp. What kind of matchups are you looking for? Decks where my opponent is not playing minions. That's true, Jordan. And the first thing. Uh, this is a hand that's so awkward of like when you play aquatic. Oh, I'm getting three dropped next time. Mm, not good. Probably go four mana Ivis here. Matchup is hard. Yeah, if they don't have minions, but like he used all this, so um, oh well, that's a good top deck. We'll play this. That's very good for us. Now I can go coin scale and then uh, maybe Ivis the turn after that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, that's a great top deck as well. Can't tell me the scale of Anixia is an annoying card. I mean, certainly is a good card. I mean, I, I, remember, right now, Dizzy, you're not allowed to say that when I'm playing Ramptured. Only when I'm not playing Ramptured. Because remember, the deck that we're currently playing 
is good, moral, and just. And everything is well designed. Alright? The deck my opponent playing is shitty design. Uh, if they're winning. And it's just a crappy deck that why would they even play it if they were, they're losing, you know? Makes sense? <clears throat> Not sure this is correct. I didn't have BGBM, so I didn't think, but felt this made things awkward for them. But oh, they're fishing. I'm about to get scammed here. Oh, he's fishing. He's fishing. He's fishing for the out. With his nagas. Mm, one mana spell. Oh, he's fishing again. Alright. He never gets there. Holy mana discounts, by the way. <laughs> Probably option two. I, I can't imagine two. That are the biggest doom alive. <laughs> no, 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 there's a bunch of dooms bigger alive, but they're hanging out in bronze. You made it to platinum gaming, you know? So good job. Am I gonna die here? No way, dude. No effing way. No effing way. What? Okay, this kid, I've never dead here, right? Like, he's, he's just, he's just, he's just grasping here, right? Somebody's gonna die. Chat, I, wait, what? 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 Wait, I'm still alive, though. Oh, oh that was, that was, uh, that was crazy. <laughs> Chat, what a game. What a game, chat. My beloved Tyrande. Mm. Ooh, this is what I was hoping for. We're playing against Tic Tac. We're gonna farm the Thief Priest chat. Oh, this handle. This handle. Oh, GG, Dedra. 
<laughs> Dude, I was, I was, I didn't even think about the starfish because I thought you could spend all your mana. So I was like, oh, he's just bluffing me. And you almost got there. I thought, you know. <laughs> oh, he just go. Dude, he's hitting all his thiefy cards, but we're, we're a pretty good situation here. As long as we get down Topior, I think we're winning. We had lots of ramp, we have Topior, we have card draw. Who <laughs> made a deck ramp, please? Uh, <laughs> God. Yeah, dude, all the old exclamation points don't work. Uh, exclamation point deck is... I'm not going to delete them all because I'm lazy, but yeah. <laughs> he just went to the <laughs> He's like, man, I didn't know a bottle lieutenant sees play. Nice. Bam, let's go, dude. Witness the skill chat. So good at this game. Yeah, no, I know, right? No, no, he got it randomly from Call of the Grave. Which he got randomly from Venomous Scorpid. What knowledge do the stars I kind of make it obvious I have Sire with this play, but whatever. But it's not very uh, juiced here, so it's not the end of the world if he steals it. So... I think I can still win here. Um, all I have to do is... Because I have the Mutantis here. Wait, what did he steal my second card? Stole my Enrich. Oh, that sucks. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I don't have any stolen cards, though.
This must be the way. We have any dragons in our deck? Oh no! That blows. That actually really blows. I didn't think about that. I probably should have thought about that. I probably should have thought about that. It's tough because he stole my sire to win here. I have BGBM. So one plan is if I just stick something. If I had a, if I draw a raid boss, I guess I can I can discover something, right? Well, I could go brand dragon operative and do some. Why are you not running Theotar? I don't think he's actually good. Rope's burning again. Mm, children. The time has come to dethrone our former master. This must be the way. Who knows what secret to enjoy?
that rope's burning again. How many rounds of stuff can he beat, you know? That's what I want to see. He's fishing, chat! He's fishing. Looking for the showered ruin, I see. But I don't have lethal if he does showered ruin, unfortunately, so... But he can't kill my brand, so I can get more cards from him. Which is kind of good. Oh god, I'm one off lethal, right? So, well, we fish then, right? Ah, son of a gun chat, so close here. <laughs> Cannot discover themselves. It is not. It is a little bit different. All right, I don't need silence. I already have one. Hmm. My my deck isn't really that good here, right? What is he gonna look at the steel? He's <laughs> thinking number one. That's how it should work, Iron Fist. Oh, that would be nice, Mercado. And you know, we could win in fatigue here, to be honest. <laughs> Just kind of interesting. Yeah, uh, we probably can't, but it's it's possible. Reflect in the moon well. I am a friend of the Sire. I am a friend of the Sire.
Force the second whirlpool out, which is nice because now I can do two raid bosses in a, and I don't have to lose them, you know? Fishing? That's interesting. We go against Chet. Like a shadow of death here. He's fishing. He's fishing. He never hits. He never hits death for prayer. Chat. Never hits death for prayer. What's their win condition? Control. What does control mean? It means they kill all my stuff, and I'm out of stuff. And then they play like one thing, and they win. Yeah, desperate prayer. Son of a gun chat, right? No, that's game. Oh, God, damn. So close. So Furion versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. Is Thief Priest actually good? No, yeah, it is good. Uh, it, it is a control deck. Uh, it often revolves you being good at the deck. Um, so... So you need to be able, uh, decks like Thief Priest, certain players get really good at because they're good at figuring out the game uh, and stopping their opponent. Uh, so uh, I'd say 98% of players are not good at playing good decks without proactive win conditions. Um, I'd say only 2% of players can play the reactive style. Oh, yeah. 
Should you conserve your removal? Just like a, that is a giant question. Absolutely, sometimes. Other times, no. Uh, the, the answer is always is it depends. But that's a very, it's a very complicated subject. So uh, you know, like a, I could show you on a case by case basis. Really, it's probably the easiest way to explain it. Topiaron curve is really nice here. Pick me, pick me. So yeah, so, so some decks you might be holding on to your your eight mana spell, for example, to wait for them to play a certain card so you can duplicate it. Uh, for example, against Naga Priest, you might like do that and wait for them to play the Radiant Elemental before you do it. Uh, so stuff like that. Um, There's a case for me going like aquatic form to try and hit scale and then going, but I think this is fine. Reflect in the moon well. The sea floor be its own treasure. Time waits for no one. There's our daddy on our end. Wow, we won. That was easy. Yeah, it was a close game, Tic Tac. I got you down to one. All I needed to do was like discover one damage from your deck, but to no avail. That was a close one, yeah. Congrats on number one.
Um, I was saying Tic Tac. I think Thief Priest is is a deck that it's all about. It's all about like uh, like the controlling on the like knowing. You really have to know the meta well and know like every matchup, right? Tic Tac, yeah, exactly. Like, thank you, Train Wreck. <laughs> the overexplained game. Oh, Lego A redeemed overexplained game. All right. We're up against a priest on coin. Um, so we don't know what kind of priest they are, which makes it, uh, I think, Drew the Reef becomes a reasonable keep. Why? Because if they play a Naga, having this Drew the Reef is insane, especially on coin. I wouldn't keep this going first, but I think it's a reasonable throwaway on coin. Uh, aquatic form is too. You don't know when to do it unless you have this. So if I had something like Nourish, I often keep Aquatic Form because I can look for like a Wild Growth or a Wild Bloom Seasman. Uh, but I think that I don't like keeping it unless I already have something good. Um, so yeah, if I knew they're uh, a Thief Priest, I would also throw this away, by the way. Oh, we hit Guff. Let's go. So we have a very good hand to beat not Thief Priest. Uh, not, not Sorry, not Nog Priest. And they're 40 health, which is very good for us. Um, oh, wait. They're playing something wacky over there because... Boar Priest doesn't run 40 cards. All right. Um, I'm going to... I could tempo out Drew the Reef, but Trempo is not how we win this game. What is tempo? Tempo is overwhelming your opponent with, like, early minion pressure. We do kind of do tempo in the later game, but this 3-1 is likely removed or not get much value. So I would rather save it as a situational removal on a future turn. Um, I also don't coin on Moonlit because I want to be able getting Guff down as soon as possible. Or Nourish. Okay, I'm going to go Moonlit here. Um... Uh, I have so sometimes I don't go moonlit on two, but this is a, a spot where I absolutely go moonlit two. Why? Because I have so much value, so I don't really need to maximize value on moonlit. Um, so I hit wild growth, BGBM, and I hit um, uh, earthen scales. Uh, so I think earthen scales is bait. BGM could be decent, but I also could take this wild growth. Um, the negative of wild growth is like. Kind of want to get guff down fast just to play around. Um, uh, but I think I'm still going to take wild growth because I can just ramp really hard. Uh, Earthen just not that useful because I don't really need the life. BGBM is actually not bad though. Actually, I'm going to take BGBM. Uh, I can I talked myself into it. This is because I'm going guff next turn to play around Theotar. Uh, that will put me up to five mana when I can go I can go nourish the following turn hero and then get a hero power and just start that ramp going. Um, so I go coin, coin, guff here, and that puts us exactly five mana. Uh, it is better to go guff first here than nourish. In the past, it didn't matter as much, but uh, this spot we could have gone, if we gone nourish, we'd have been at six mana this turn. But when we played guff, we wouldn't be able to get a hero power in because we would have wasted the two mana from the nourish. So, because the nourish gives you two immediate mana. So we're actually better off doing this order uh, for efficiency reasons. Because now we can go nourish here to ramp, uh, which I'm going to do because... Uh, one of the biggest mistakes I see players make in this deck is drawing too often. Uh, you want to be ramping whenever you almost, you almost want to see, can I find an excuse to ramp? Because um, ramping is why you win. Uh, you ramp and then you have a mana advantage and that's how you beat your opponents usually. Okay, so we hit Topior. Topior is phenomenal here. One of the things I even like about Topior is it value trades this and it allows us to ramp. So I'm going to ramp. I'm going to play Topior here. Uh, Topiar gives us infinite 3 threes. So we have just so much value. So if you spread out your value and you get Topiar on curve like this, it's going to be very, very difficult for our priest opponent because um, they have to just beat all our stuff with, with a, a value deficit. Um, they're correctly trading here. You should, yeah, always trade here. Um, so this is all kind of awkward here. Um, I decide what I want to do because this is, I don't have a good clear on this. It's very annoying. Um, I could go uh, something wacky. I don't know. I don't think I value clearing this that much. 
Um, I think I'd rather do like my own game plan and draw here. So I think I'm gonna go Miracle Growth here. See what we hit. So I have the choice to go. I could. Oh, I actually. This might just be a uh, innervate a uh, starfish here, even though we don't get the kill on this, because these are good means the starfish, right? Like, just get these out of the way. I think I do do that. Uh, it takes it gets rid of. I don't have to deal with infinite ones of these. Uh, I don't have to deal with this guy. The hard part is starfish is going to be very valuable this matchup. But this is just a lot coming out, and, and this allows me to sort of start the tempo advantage. So I think I do lose rush on my minions when I do this, uh, and my taunt, but I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, So this is a point I would really like to, um, we're actually running low on value, but that's what's nice about Guff is, so once you start running low on value, you start prioritizing your hero power for draw. But I think I'm going to go Moonlit first, uh, see if I can hit something good, uh, something like a raid boss. Sire would be good just because Sire would give me, um, so planted evidence is phenomenal because it's super cheap, cheap effective and it gets us multiple 3 threes. So um, I'm gonna take this Nourish here, it's the most effective. I'm going to play the other planted evidence. I'm not sure if I'm going to take Nourish for Ramp or Nourish for Draw yet. These are really, really good. I'm going to take Flipper Friends. It's the most high value. Um, I would love to hit uh, a good card here. So I'm going to take Nourish for Draw, but I'm going to move some cards out of my hand here. I'm going to take Nourish for Draw. Let's see what we hit. I would love to hit... Okay, dang. We keep dodging the, uh, the card I want to hit. Um, hmm... I can use this next turn, it's fine. Um, I could use this as a taunt as well. Um, I think I want to get the... Uh, I'm just going to keep ramping with this guy and I'm going to play the Naga to fill up my hand here. That was a risky uh, play, but whatever. So a lot of decisions there, a lot of decisions, uh, but I really wanted to draw Sire. Um, that's what I'm kind of drawing, draw. Uh, I, this is questionable because I like duplicating the Nourish, but the more ramp you get, the better. Um, you, like ramp is so huge because uh, that's what your deck does is good. Um, so yeah. Ooh, those aren't the worst losses. Um, so I think we're fine here. Um, so I think I'm gonna continue to ramp and just develop. I have to dump cards, so I'm gonna go Wild Growth here and then I'm going to this. I make sure I do this before I draw any other cards. Um, and I think I'm just gonna just develop a, 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 a whatever turn here, but it gives me more ramp. So I'm gonna gain two mana crystals here. Um, Actually, I could draw here, but I have nothing to dump, like, effectively, so... Um, I think I'm just going to keep ramping. Uh, I'm going to gain a Mana Crystal here. I'm going to Wild Growth Ramp. And this makes a hand space. And uh, I'm going to get, play this, because I want to get rid of cards out of my hand. Um, I could get Theotard here, which is annoying. But uh, it's not the end of the world. I don't have Siren Hand, so it might even be a good thing to get Theotard here. Because it kind of baits it. Okay, so... I, often in these spots, you want to play enough stuff that you force the removal. Um, if you don't force removal, your opponent can just do their own thing. Um, so I'm trying to just put a board that my opponent feels like they need to remove every turn. So uh, next turn, I can, part of the reason I dubbed those cards is because I meet Mr. Fufu that gives the tier one. I want to immediately be able to go or the rich, which I can because I have exactly eight cards in my hand here. So I draw here. Um, we hit Bran, we hit three, uh, Earthen and Jerry Rig. These are all kind of useless, to be honest. Uh, Bran, uh, Mutanus is a very reasonable option here, but I don't really love it. Why? Uh, because by going Bran, Mutanus here, I kind of lock myself in to not, it's hard for me to do a Sire OTK. I think Sire OTK is a much more reliable way to win than a Bran, Mutanus win condition. So I'm going to do this. 
uh, just to get a red card on my hand, and I'm going to draw. Jeez, I keep wanting to draw a Sire. I keep dodging it. It's really unfortunate, actually. Um, so... Um, I need to spend some, I could go, I still could go brand Mutanus. I also could just go Mutanus uh, and save the brand. That's actually, I don't know, I'm leaning towards here. Um, I think I'm going to do that. That develops a big uh, Mutanus. Uh, I save the brand for later for the Sire. I ate their own brand. Okay. And I think I'm going to actually buff this up because it makes it awkward at a four health. Um, I'm going to hold back my other earthen. I don't need the armor here. And I would rather have a 4 attack minion and a 4 win here than gain more armor. Because my opponent's never going to kill me. They're going to win by attrition. So being able to take that value trade there is better than buffing this up. Oh god, am I about to get f here? Well, that's annoying. Well, I wish I had taken the brand now. Who <laughs> played the brand? I did not expect this. Okay. Ooh, that's not the way. Oh gosh, dang it, chat. Oh god. Well, this sucked. Man, so. Alright, so I'm gonna draw first here. Um, Hidden Insatiable here. I do feel like I need to clear here. Um, I intentionally want to get rid of cards here, so I'm going to trade here, trade here, and then I'm going to go scale here. Uh, this clears both of these guys, and then I can go BGBM here. Uh, I have two BGBMs, so I'm very okay with using one of them here. And I get you to push a lot of damage here, which I like. So this pushes a lot of damage. Which I, it makes it easier for my sire if I ever get to play him. The problem is, <laughs> I keep not drawing sire, and it, so it makes my life very difficult. Um, because it's just that much harder to win. Uh, I don't really have much more value here. I have a miracle growth. Uh, just not a lot here. Um, I do have some more minions, but like, it's not looking that great. And this is very unfortunate. Uh, these are very annoying. Um, I do have the, the insatiable devour though, so I'm probably okay here. All right, they're using double desperate, which is interesting. They're they're afraid of getting sired, but I oh, I don't actually have the sire, so it doesn't actually work. I'm gonna draw first here. I still want to just draw the sire, and I keep missing it. All right, let's see if I can hit draw from this. Uh, I did not, which is very unfortunate. Uh, I don't really know what to do here. Um, I keep not drawing, uh, so I think I'm gonna take. Uh, actually, alignment sucks. Uh, I just want to take this because it's damage. Uh, I'm not gonna play another card here. I'm just gonna do this. And push the damage. Um, uh, and so this is something you can see. Oh, shit, shit. I forgot how this card works. <laughs> I legit forgot. Um, do I want to kill this? I kind of do. It's kind of annoying. So I'm going to kill this. And I'm going to rush this in. And bam. So... Looks like I'm getting showered ruined here. I really need to hit uh, my sire, but I'm almost out of stuff. This is uh, two boards, so but our, our the rest of our decks. I mean, we haven't hit either her aquatics or archer cycle to hit the sire. Ah, oh, this is tough. Um, but that being said, we're at a spot where like if they leave one minion alive, that's like like a thirteen sixteen. I can often draw the second BGBM and get the lethal. So. Wow, this didn't die. Um, if they don't have a clear for this, we might win. Wow. That's so huge if they don't have a clear for this. Let's see. Proficient. No, no rushy boy. Oh! That's so lucky, dude! 
Dude, you're so freaking lucky. Oh my God. So my opponent, often that hits no rush or no 3-3 or no divide. That was the perfect one there. The perfect freaking one. Sucks, chat. All right, well. Um, what do I do here? Um, I want to start juicing up my sire. Um, I'm going to look for Miracle Growth here. I hit it. Um, I'm going to play the Flipper Friends first because I want to juice this up. Um, and then I'm going to trade these off for board space. And then I'm going to go Miracle Growth. The Miracle Growth puts a big minion on the board, which I like. Uh, I don't use the second Aquatic here because um, I want... Uh, but yeah. So I'm trying to threaten lethals. And this kind of threatens lethal. I'm wondering... Uh, the problem is if I, if I play this Oracle and my opponent's a thinking player, they might be able to just deny the lethal by just not playing anything. So I'm going to leave it like this. Um, and this is, this is kind of threatening them. I have a few more boards here, but... Theo is not actually necessarily good here, right? Wait, that's it? Okay. Hey, is that a win? And we win, chat. Die! Die, Yugi boy. So you could see, the, even though my opponent did a bunch of bullshit, <laughs> we still won. That's the power of attrition. You just keep smacking them in the face. And they keep blocking the smacks. And you keep smacking them. That, that is the ramp, you know. But So yeah. That is the overexplain game though. Yeah. So, so this is something, um, when you're playing against a control player, if you force out clears every turn, it might look like they have eight cards, but their hand kind of keeps getting worse and worse. Why? Because they're using all the cards that are good against your deck first, so then a, a smaller, smaller percentage of their cards in their hand um, are good cards. Make sense? Do you use a regular mouse occasionally? Um, I will use it actually for the scroll wheel. So the scroll wheel is nice. Uh, yeah, so I do have a regular mouse, uh, but I don't use it really for the clicking or the controlling. So but the scroll wheel doesn't really bother me these days. It used to. My hands have gotten a lot better, so I have use of my hands, but yeah. Um, so yeah, basically, if you ever see those like little, like, you know, like the little line on the side of like the Twitch thing? That's like the hardest thing for my hands free. These little things where you have to hold really precisely. It's freaking miserable.
Boa noite. Bora, eu Per play style so far? I don't know. Um, I mean, I probably did the best in Forge and the Barons. Um, because I just absolutely dominated that GM season. I so my favorite expansion is probably School of Man's Academy. Um, I made a bunch of. I, I mean, I also did really, really well in Ashes of Outland, right? Um, uh, I made like multiple tier one decks, and uh, and uh, one like one a tournament qualified for GM before that. So I don't know. You sleeping? There we go. Mm, <laughs> serio? <laughs> mm, uh, I say greetings. I don't want to say like oi. <laughs> What's like the fun way of saying hello in Portuguese? Other than todo bem, todo bom, todo bem, todo bom. My opponent knows a little thing about uh, the tempo. Alright, how about four mana guy? Innervate. Innervate's good. Innervate. Is Innervate better than Wild Growth? So if I take Wild Growth, I go Wild Growth next turn, right? And then I can go... So I'll be at, I'll be at six, and then I can ramp. That's not... It's close. Probably innervate though. Get that fast because I can draw and like hit a scale. That's probably better, but let's see it either way here. Thank you, Jaggy. Welcome, welcome back to the game. The game that keeps on taking. I mean, giving. <laughs> <laughs> I could have actually double hit this. Um, make sure I have an interesting decision of do I ramp or do I draw? It's probably ramp. I mean, it's probably, ugh. Cause I could ramp up the sire and then not play sire, but. I didn't play it. Is there a reason to play it immediately? Um, you have to think, do I want to take an innervate out of my deck? Also, I gain one life. So I gain one life there, which is a nice positive. Um, yeah, so. Uh, but yeah, and I don't really need another innervate after this. Uh, so I'm better off thinning my deck, but sometimes you might not be better off thinning your deck. Makes sense. Um, our hand's pretty good now. Naga Priest, best deck in the game. Beast Hunter, best most best deck of the game for most people. But yeah, I, I was thinking about going on. Ooh, this is interesting. So this is interesting of like, do we go guff here or do we clear? But I think uh, clearing is better because um, we get this Naga Giant down. Uh, and we just sort of stop, take the pressure off our life total here. So they go, yeah. What is the worst one for Beast Hunter? Uh, that's a Bless Priest. 
Um, Beast Hunter's biggest weakness is it's uh, it's it's predictable for high players, but it's still not a bad deck at high legend. It's just good players uh, know how to beat it, but they, they don't like... It's, it's just not like an overpowered deck. Uh, it's still a good deck uh, at the high ranks. Hmm. Let's start guffing. Yeah, so if the Beast Druids don't run Trogs, you're probably favored as Druid, but if they do run Trogs, you're probably unfavored, so... They'll play around. Not sure if that's correct there. Twilight Deceptor? What's Twilight? Well, I don't know what that card is. Let me All right. you who you're Ugh. dealing with. Hmm, I got the full clear. This is a very good, uh, very good uh, rune for them. Holy crap, this rune was good. Holy crap, chat. That was a very good rune. They got uh, lots of value. They uh, developed and they removed. Oh, they're gonna steal my sire? No. Oh god, chat. This is bad. This is what I get for uh, not running sire or not running Theo. I can't Theo back. Uh, son of a gun, chat. Mel, I think he's with the Prime Gaming. Uh, get, a, get on that subject. Thanks so much, Mel. Jay Alexander, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. We are playing one of the classics. The Unstoppable. The deck that keeps on giving. The Ramp Druid. Welcome, everybody. How do you beat On Curve Relic Demon Hunter right now? Uh, you can uh, make a... Uh, like a 40-40. Okay. Is that a win? I think that's a win, chat. 
Ah, oh, so good at this game, chat. I like how my opponents keep stealing my sire. And we keep winning anyways. This is the second time this has happened. Everybody's like, oh! <laughs> they Theotard my sire! How will we ever win? <laughs> it's time they nerfed Theotard, even though I just crushed it. Chad, I cut Theotard, by the way. He's bait. Dude, J. Alexander tweeting and, and uh, Zacho tweeting that Theotard sucks uh, have convinced me. And Chat, my 6 and 3, 67% win rate could never lie because sample size is, is 9 games. What is your drink of choice uh, in my, in my, throughout my life? Is Mutant is good? I actually let, prefer... Mutant is a tempo play. And in, like you don't have to give up your own cards. You know? So... You, you can get a bunch of stats with Mutanus and then Balger runs Battlemaster. Theotar is bad stats. It's all disruption, you know? So Sire is a, uh, one of the reasons they print cards like Sire is to have inevitability. Um, because people didn't like 45 minute games, uh, at least some people. So you run Sire, it's, it's a very obvious, inevitable win condition. Um, <laughs> that's funny, Lenko. <laughs> You're like, what about what's Theo do? He's a good dude. <laughs> Chad, we hit the good card. Feels a good. Ooh, good card into more good card. We go six, next turn we go ramp. We go to eight, we hero power, and then we can go raid boss on curve. Oh, with Sire and Brand in hand. The stars are aligned. Chad, we're, if we win this game, we'll be seven and three today. With the ramp druid. I told, dude, dude everybody's like Mr. Greed over on eu like you can't get away with ram druid on the, the the na the players are too good and there's a t but yeah anyway i probably go hero power miracle growth into hero power raid boss <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Cause I, I kept playing Naga Priest Tic Tac. I, Cause I was crushing so hard on NA and I was like, I'm gonna go get number one EU. And then Thief Priest became a deck and all of a sudden I couldn't like I couldn't climb anymore because I'm playing against like I, I had a day I think I played against fifty percent thief priest over like four hours on EU, you know? It's rough. Ooh, we hit Tolveron. That's nice. Mm. 
<laughs> Which one, Flash? <laughs> Are you the reason? I am a large factor. Pick me, pick me. Ah, the classics. 14 mana. How buffed is my sire here? So if I trade stuff off, I can get a lethal here just from... People also think Druid is a value deck, but it's class, but it's really a tempo class. Uh, it's, uh, it's just a late game tempo. Um, Priest is much more of a value class. Same thing with Warrior. Hmm. Do I have lethals here? 28 is exactly right? 28, yep. Exactly, Tic Tac, yeah. Oh, we got an overexplained game coming up. Get made up. Love the happy ending. <laughs> Look, I just had to, you know. Well, so over explain game. All right. We're up against a demon hunter. I don't usually like keeping Moonlit Guidance. Uh, a lot of people do. The stats say it's not a good keep in general. I think it's bait often. Um, you'd want to just hit your actual growth uh, stuff. Moonlit Guidance is also such a strong card later. So people think just getting, you know, when it hits you your ramp, it's fine, but it doesn't even guarantee to hit your ramp. So um, I could go aquatic form, but like, what am I looking for? Jerry rig only, so I'm better off waiting and just hero powering here. Um, so 
So I'm going to go, I have to debate if I want to go aquatic form here. Um, it's a, it's a tough one. I could do something wacky like, um, play Baran here, uh, just as a bait, which is actually kind of reasonable. Um, they might use double relic damage on it, uh, to clear it. Um, but then we can go aquatic and maybe hit the wild blue scenesman if we get lucky. It might be a tempo brand, like our hand's too awkward. I think it is. Um... It's just a thing of like brand's gonna be sitting in our hand for such a long time, and there are some payoffs here. Uh, if if they don't clear this, we can go aquatic, and if we hit a wild bloom season, we get double ramp. Um, if we hit innervate, so yeah, uh, they didn't have the answer. Unfortunately, we don't have the payoff here in hand. So let's see, let's see if they over remove. Oh, did they high roll into the the one mana spell here? They did, didn't they? Right? Oh, they don't know. No, they just got it. So. We did force out this relic stuff, but it's not actually a big deal for them. It actually could be a negative here <laughs> because now that sets them up on curve. So questionable plays for me on the brand, but all right. So I went this, I did hit the wild blue seedsman. We always take this. We want ramp. This could even draw us a miracle growth. Um, and we're going to play it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to ramp here. Uh, we plan Evans is not bad. There's a lot of good cards we could hit off this. Um, Uh, this is really bad. We're often getting the five mana spelled on curve here and we lose the game, but they might just be fishing for it. The counters to our opponent's deck, just tempo. Um, they have more value than you, so. All right, so we have to decide if we want to go uh, planted or moonlit. The problem with moonlit is what do we want to hit? Like five mana cards, so we don't want to do that. I think we could hit scale off this if we go planted first. We can't hit uh, miracle growth, but there are a lot of good things to hit here. Okay, so uh, this is kind of awkward. These kind of suck. Um, I don't think I ever want to take a Sharn, right? Uh, like buffing these cards isn't that useful. Uh, I could take Nightshade to try and cheat something out later. But I think I'm just going to take this Force of Nature here. Um, and uh, I actually could take the Nightshade. Uh, our hand is... There's so many bad outs to hit though. But actually, the Miracle Grows are both at the bottom of our deck. So maybe I take the Nightshade for later. Uh, this is just so useless, right? So I'm gonna take the nightshade um, and uh, do this. Oh, we hit guff, so now we have a play for next turn. Guff is just too good, even though scale is really good to hear too. Just draw, getting your guff is so important. Uh, I'm gonna hero power here, and I think I'm just gonna go face. I could debate like hitting this, but I don't think it's really worth it. Um, so we have guff next turn, and now we have a, a clear path to victory. So. So now our path to victory is go guff, hope they don't go here, uh, location five drop, because uh, they probably win with that. That looks very, very bad. Uh, yeah, this is very, very bad. Their opponent's about to cheat on 18 mana. When our opponent hits the nuts like this, uh, uh, triple relic, we're into relic on curve with the scorpid. It's not looking good for us. Uh, even though we hit this uh, guff here. Um, so our opponent didn't play anything, which probably means we're even more dead, but... We have an interesting conundrum here of like, uh, I think we're just going to take the guff though. Uh, we could do something like Jerry Rig to draw the nourishes, but we have two nourishes in our deck. So I think it's worth it just to take this. Uh, sometimes you do the Jerry Rig first because you don't want the punish of drawing a nourish, but it's not even a bad thing. And I just want to get the ramps in. Every hero power is a two mana wild growth that costs no value. So I want to get as many of those as I can. Uh, ramp as hard as I can while I still can. Um... So I have Jerry Rig into like Nourish, into like more ramp I could do. We have a lot of a lot of things we can do here, uh, depending on our best path to victory and how much pressure our opponent puts on. So they put on these uh, this Relic of Phantasms here. This is very bad, Chad. Um, I don't have a good answer. Uh, I would love to have like a... Um, I, I probably just have to go Raid Boss here. It makes sense, right? It, 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 uh, I have to decide if I want to kill the 6-6 six, six or the two six sixes or the 1-3. Um... So, yeah, I, th I think at the end of the day, we, we just die too often if we don't go Raid Boss. Uh, this is very easily countered, so we're going to go Raid Boss here. Um, it's just all other plays are not reliable and not as effective. So I want to trade into the 7-7 seven, seven here. Um, and then I decide, do I, I always trade into, a, do I want to trade into this 7-7 seven, seven or the 1-3 the or the 6-6? The six, six? Uh, it's quite close here. The 1-3 is able to easily clear this, but so is this kind of, so it's, it's kind of tough here. Um, and they're there, so I think I'm just going to kill off the two, uh, the six sixes and accept that the Scorpion is going to get an easy kill on my raid boss. Um, I think this is the strongest. 
Uh, there's just too many ways I get punished by not like uh, and taking 13 is so much worse than taking. Uh, they might have like a relic just to kill this for free anyways. Uh, so yeah. Too much coffee, it's an overexplained, dude. Why didn't you kill the 772? Well, how? Well, 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 how did we kill the 77? I mean, I would love to be able to break the mechanics of the game and just yes. cheat. That would be fun. At least for a while. Oh, we're about to get wrecked here. Why did you just kill me? Ah, uh, chat, I'm pretty dead. I'm pretty dead here. Um, it's looking pretty grim here. Oh god. Um I so this is just too much stats. I, I don't really have a good answer here. I think maybe my best answer is like try and hit like Oracle off this aquatic and get to uh this is I have to take the insatiable, even though it's not good this turn, maybe it gives me some hope. Um I'm not sure what I do here. So if I hit scale, um I could trade, 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 and then I guess I'm not dead. Uh, I guess I go trade, trade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I would need a little bit more. So I could go maybe earthen. I don't know. That doesn't quite work, right? What is my out here? Um, oh, this is so tough. This must be the way. Well, I take the scale. It's like the only viable play. Um, Um, I have to figure out what is more dead. Um, I think I need to kill, take as many stats off the board, so I'm going to clear this. this. Might be dumb. I maybe was supposed to just kill the brand there, um, and take all that damage. Uh, oh, I know he's in the hand. Okay, we're dead. And we dead chat. But why did we know that he had Jason hand there? I don't know. So yeah, we're dead. Tragic. On you next game? Oof, big mistake. Wait, dude, 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 the odds you're giving, dude. Chat. Somebody just bet like 200,000 on me. To Oh my god, so. Dude, oh god, MC Escher, you're putting so much pressure on me. Dude, dude, like it's not even good odds. So chat, right now you're getting 6 to 1 as a non-believer, so I highly recommend not believing. Alright. I'll be right back, chat.
Malfurion versus Illithin. It isn't over between us, brother. You have much to answer for. This is Caravan Palace, I think. Wait, is it? Wait, no, this isn't. This is uh, Jamie Berry. Sorry. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Just need to draw a guff. We don't really need guff. We have a good ramp. There's too many variables, but um, in theory, because the players would have queued, occurred their rank on previous nights, so players would be playing worse than they normally do. So even dead draw, let's say dead draw uh, normally with this deck is is plays at a certain level, he might be playing lo lower than his normal level because he's tired. You know, it's not in his. P I know there's certain times of the night I tend to play best. You know, and there's certain times of the night where I start making blunders. You know. They're fishing, chap. Can okay, I go full language hack here on this one? Like, what the F, dude? They hit that out? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Some bullshit, chat. Well, well, this was some skill, though. Top deck guff.
Man, that's a nice board you got there. Would be a shame if somebody destroyed it. The sea floor be its own Uh, perfect order from them. Da, ah, you good boy. The jungle buggy. Oh, uh, this is bad. Uh, I should have gone eight drop actually. Uh, I don't know actually. Please don't die. I don't want to die. No, 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 no! <laughs> My dead shit. Dude, MCS here. I don't. Look, look, look. Wait, did he miss? Yeah. I think while you may have lost a lot of points, you Twitch now has a very anti-gambling policy. And what you have learned is a valuable lesson on the world of gambling, all right? Chad, could somebody explain to me like what actually happened? Like why did they, they, they banned gambling? I'm not really sure. And it's very controversial. And uh, everybody's against gambling now. I seem really cheerful today. Do I? I don't know. Probably I took yesterday off. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's such a long story. I mean, so it's a weird one because it's like some guy scammed a bunch of people out of it. But that's not really like... Yeah, I mean, that's that's totally reasonable, Rec Fam, though, right? So, like, that's something they probably should have done earlier, right? So, as long as I like the casino. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, like, as someone who... I lived in Connecticut, and I got annoyed with uh, their laws that I couldn't compete in certain Hearthstone events because of gambling laws. So, I'm not as eager to... But, yeah. I mean, it just seemed like it was, like... Yeah. Big streamers have a lot of power. Like, they just, yeah. They get rid of gambling channel points? No, they did it. But that's uh, that's what I'm calling for, all right? The amount of people that have destroyed their lives gambling for me, it's too much responsibility for me to bear, all right? You know? Yeah, that's that's reasonable, scumbag. That's reasonable. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Well, I think some people were calling for more, but yeah. But like, so, that's what I mean. I never know. It's reasonable to to, 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 to ban illegal gambling, you know, right? So. Yeah. But if they get, like, dude, some people were saying they should ban poker, and I'm like, F you, did, You know, like, poker's the shit, right?
has come. Might be a mistake. Skilled Gambine, all right, so. So, by definition, Twitch considers Hearthstone a game of skill. Otherwise, you'd, like, otherwise, um, what are they called? Things would be banned, right, so. Okay, yeah, but yeah, cha I, it's time for battlegrounds to be banned. All right, it's uh, I'm against gambling, like all the other Twitch streamers. Big battlegrounds is clearly gambling. All right, I've seen those those streamers win those not even one percenters. All right, that like don't tell me that ain't some gamba, you know. Eat something good here. Oh! 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 Sorry, I got excited, chat. The beast, I, 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 I'm, tro I'm, I'm trolling, chat. Hey, can I get an implied kappa? Do I need to put like paste the kappa over my own head? Think about jackpot rogue. Okay, jackpot rogue, I can get behind. We should ban that to get Deca 2. It literally has jackpot in the name. All right. Um, I think uh, Naga Priest has very little RNG. Uh, so that is a good deck. Uh, one to be respected, you know? Come on, give me something good here. Ooh, Tolbaron the Burninator. Let's go, dude. Chad, love me some Tolbarons. Chad, sometimes I'm probably tempoing Sire if I don't get card draw soon. You jerk! They stole my guff, chat. What is this nonsense? How is this illegal? Or legal? Dude, how am I gonna win against a guff quest priest? Wait, ooh. All right, give me some draw. Hmm, it's unfortunate. The path is clear. All I want for my birthday is some draw. Give me a guff. Give me a miracle growth. And give me. Uh, that's good. That that works. That gets the job done. We will draw three. Mm, I could use some more draw. Or a Guffy boy. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. I don't want to die. My sire. They're so clearly taking the sire. Look how fast they chose that. We're so effed, chat. We're so effed. I could, I could feel it coming. Uh, I don't even have a Mutanus. And I'm up against a Guff quest priest. This is looking pretty grim, chat. This is looking pretty grim. I might give this up. I don't think I can beat Guff Quest Priest. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm gonna give this one up, chat. There, there are some games that aren't, uh, we're not winning this one. Rough out there. GG, uh. 
Dude, you, I mean, you took my guff, dude. <laughs> but I, it was more like I, if I had drawn my own guff, I would have been okay. But I, I was, I played a very aggressive uh, hand, and I was relying on top decks, and I didn't draw them, so I kind of ran off stuff, you know. And then it was very easy to hit the, hit the, hit the sire, right? Don't run Theotar, I cut him because he sucks. I probably could have kept the I probably could have kept the Drew of the Reef there. But I don't like even Drew of the Reef going first. So I I, I could show you even in Drew a Druid list. He almost has one of the lowest drawn win rates in most of the lists I've seen. Okay, that's not always true, but I don't know. 40 card curse warlock. All right, good, good Mulligan. All right, I could use some ramp chat. I legit auto concede versus Thief Priest and Mega Unwinnable, dude. I doubt that. You literally have Kurtris, so you can get like tons of burn. God, my hand is so bad. Planted Evidence is insane, but so is Jerry Rig. And Sire is actually not bad either. But I think this is the most reliable play. Because this is, I need, I, I, getting a ramp is very important, right? My hand is too full. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Not good. God, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Oh, that sucks.
Double curse is lethal. I could have not played the, the two mana card there, but actually, maybe that was right, because they have another curse in hand, right? Uh, that's dumb. Oh, that's lethal! Damn! Damn, I'm dead. I can see. Almost stabilized. I don't know. We're gaining 11 armor next turn if we made it there, but we died. Get in my belly! Come on! Curse lock seems strong. It's not. It's not bad. I mean, no, it's not. I mean, it's. Think about it. I didn't hit any ramp. We hit any ramp there. No, I hit ramp like really late. So they were able to push, put a lot of pressure, um, and get a lot of damage in. So. Where if I just hit ramp, uh, then we go scale, and we, then we have a very easy win there. So they hit the part of our, our range where they actually could win there, which is unlikely. It isn't over between us, brother. You have much to answer for. Blends in, thank you, Bumpy. He's going to come out of the statement. Yeah, I mean, spicy stuff. I, I did not see the interview, though. I'm happy to have you tell me about it, though. Chat, we cut the ramping. We're just druid now. <laughs> so I know he, he resigned from uh, another thing, right? Like, I don't know. Or he did... Um, he did something else. It's an interesting point, you know, where it's like if somebody has a history of cheating and you have your your reputation as the best player in the world on the line and you they're doing plays that look really sketchy because it's kind of like 
if somebody if, if if somebody else does something on me on ladder in a non game it's not a big deal but if i have a if i have to play against jay huang and i have to stream uh even if i don't have any proof i'm gonna be super i'm gonna be super suspicious and if he does a play that looks like it's sniping that can be weird you know because uh i think i would be less i'm not really sure if i'm uh, agree with magnus but i if if his opponent didn't have a history of cheating online I would not be on, I would unlikely be on his side. But now I'm kind of like, let's see what happens. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. We pulled out the it is disrespectful, yeah. It is very disrespectful. Uh, I mean, if you saying someone is cheating, it is the ultimate uh, sign of disrespect. Uh there are some people that shouldn't be respected because the, so I don't know if this Hans guy, I don't really know him. Um, I don't know how long ago it was that he cheated, but I do know that he cheated online and got caught. Uh, so, you know, in a world where it's very, uh, it's very easy in life to cheat and get away with it at least once, you know? So, yeah. That's fair scumbag, but it's, uh, yeah. So that's why it's, so... Oh god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Do you give second chances to cheaters? Unclear. Uh, I like giving second chances to cheaters. But once I think you've, you've cheated, uh, you lose the benefit of the doubt from people, you know? Uh, once you've kind of broken that social contract, of oh i i don't cheat um you know 16 is a weird one because that's 16 to 19 lock 13 would be i'd be a little more sympathetic or even 13 to 18 but 16 is pretty three years ago isn't long ago you don't change that much in three years um you can change but remember this is that doesn't mean he's that doesn't mean he's guilty it means that i'm not convinced he's innocent that's what i mean you know? So that, that's why I'm not as like, yeah. Uh, so F tier. Yeah, so that could be, you know, some light, you know, it, it's hard to say, you know, it's a... Uh... So... Don't have to, yeah, I'm not convinced either way, but I'm not, I guess I'm not, I'm not shitting on Magnus for, for being skeptical. And, you know, I, I, I'll wait to see more, if that makes sense. I'm not necessarily sure Magnus is right, you know, but... But yeah, that's what I'm saying, is that, uh, yeah. Because, like, I totally feel that if my opponent does a play that doesn't make sense, like, because Magnus really has a deep understanding of the game. If he, if he has a line prepped that he shouldn't have, you know? So, yeah.
Yeah, so I'm not. Uh, we'll we'll see uh, Magnus's case, but you know. Yeah, exactly, Artie. So, I mean, we'll see, but, but it's a thing of like, you know. Blaming the coach. So, I mean, it's also an interesting thing if the coach comes and says, we should prep for this line, you know, that the coach has figured out information. Who knows? You know, we don't know what happened, you know, but yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I yeah, I don't, so I, 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 I've only paid moderately attention, but I guess I'm sympathetic to Magnus's, uh, you know, you know, and it's like different even Hearthstone where coaching wasn't, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't think that's as hard as it, it seems really hard investor, but when you've really mastered chess, like, yeah, had it lost. Yeah. So it's, it, there's no RNG in chess. So if you're significantly better than your opponents, you just can always win, you know? So. I never had an official ELO rating, so. I would clap Magnus. I think you would ice fit, actually. Versus chat blind voted. <laughs> they will, but <budgie>, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, I might switch. Okay, we might switch servers. Actually, it's going to be long queues on NA as well. I don't know. I'm kind of like... I've had, been, I've had a lot of chronic pain this week, so it kind of feels like I'm sick, but I don't actually have like sick symptoms. I'm just like kind of in pain uh, the last few days. So, <laughs> So I'm like... Just a little not fully on my game, so I don't really want to play for number one tonight, you know? My beloved <laughs> DJ, do a hot tub stream. I could have gone to visit my parents. Uh, and they have a hot tub, but I don't know. I have a, I've made a bunch of friends in Chicago. Uh, my friend, my friend group is, groups are growing. Uh, so I like actually, and I have a life now. So I'm not as like, I went to visit my parents a bunch during COVID cause it was like, I didn't have any friends. Like I had like some friends that were like, but like they weren't, you know, and, and like everything sucked during COVID. You know what I mean? Like it was just, so now things are better. I am touching grass, touching a bunch of grass, you know? Is Ram Druid still a tier one deck? Hell no. But it's still reasonable. Just not tier one. Wait, I'm just realizing that they're freaking. Uh, I didn't realize that they were uh, priests. I was about to do this so they couldn't ping off my two one. Because I saw a watch post and I assumed. Uh, I assumed it was. Uh, what's it called? More than just chat for friends now. Chat, dude, it is it is nice hanging. I forget sometimes when I'm feeling crappy, 
And maybe I've been playing video games by myself. Maybe I'm playing Hearthstone off stream. Maybe I'm playing PoE. It is kind of nice, like to just like hang out with chat. It's an interesting. It's an interesting experience because it's like it's it is, it is a conversation, but I'm doing most of the talking. But it is it's weird. Like very few people have truly understand what it's like to like hang out with chat. It's a, it's a yeah. Weird dynamic. That is, uh, it is interesting once you've meet some people in real life, Star Fox. Because I've had some like, uh, well, now it's I, I don't meet as many people because in the post COVID world, but you know a lot of the people I have met, you know, but it, it is weird. Well, we'll see. I was gonna go. I was thinking about going to TwitchCon, but it's the same week as Masters Tour. But and I might wait till because COVID, uh, till COVID calms down a little bit more even. But like. Uh, do I play the light bomb here? I mean, do I double play Naga Giant? I pull the double. Uh, I don't think I do. I think they're gonna clear here. Man, uh, which tier would you say fell the ages? Uh, in most of ladder, I'd say tier three. Uh, at high legend, it might be uh tier two. So. Because of uh, Thief Priest, but cause there's not as much. Like, see, we haven't played like one Beast Root all night, I don't think. You know, so. Ooh, we drew Toll Room. That's good. I might be okay with overdrawing because it's two three threes. Ugh. I'm okay. I'm gonna go with the overdraw here, so I can go Brand Tolbaron next turn, and then immediately get two three threes. Yeah, where's my guff? Why not Mutanus? Um, because I think I'd rather hit draw. Um, mm, an unfortunate overdraw. I think a lot of players overvalue disruption. So um, I'm kind of just going for, yeah, double Tolber runs real nice, right? Yeah, my belly. What's 
They stole my guff chat. What the F, dude? That's not cool. Hmm. Wait, my 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 uh my brand didn't die here. That's actually could be huge, cause uh I could draw Mutanus here. Okay, it did. Okay, it's dead. Wait, are they just playing my deck? So if somebody were just tuning in, they wouldn't even realize that it's this is a former priest, you know? Let me sire. Got him. What is tier one? Uh, hunter, uh, I'd say uh, Beast Hunter, Naga Priest. Uh, after that, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Every deck after that, you have to be good at it, you know? Like, some people uh, say Thief Priest is good. Some people say uh, Shaman is good. Some people say Demon Hunter is good. Wait, uh, If I get Theotard here. Uh, yep, here it comes. Oh, I have so many minions, I could dodge this. Son of a gun, chat! Uh, well, I drew Smothering. I probably have to play the Smothering here, right? Oh, priest looking good. Oh, God. Blizzard. Affect my streaming plans. Probably not. I mean, what is what is the new Twitch revenue split? Is it less or more money for me? It's probably less, right? That's what they've been doing. I, I think about getting a real job every single day, chat. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, the more I look at this, the more so, yeah, yeah. I wasn't 70 30 anyways, so you know, I think I was 50 50 before, I wasn't so. Oh, god. Chad, this is it's tough to beat priests with this is a real job? Maybe. Uh alright, let's uh
Dude, where are my insatiable devourers, chat? What the F? I don't know. It's a thing. I, I am so my plan right now is I'm gonna book I'm going to stream at least for 2023. And then in the middle of 2023, I'm I'm going to look at my finances and decide if I if I want to keep doing this. And you know, we'll uh so So, you, you guys probably have me for at least another nine months until the baby comes, you know. I could still do it for fun, yeah, so it's a thing of uh it could it could be a thing of uh I uh I do this on like the weekends, you know? We'll see. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. It's kind of weird. This is the irony is my health is doing better. But with my health doing better, I have more things I can do. So it used to be like Hearthstone was the only thing I could do. So it was obviously I was going to do Hearthstone, you know? But now it's like, well, I could do Hearthstone or I could do something else. Makes it just a tougher choice, you know? Uh, I could have conceded like three turns ago. So yeah, I mean that's just yeah, so we'll see. I can see. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> I don't have a baby on the way. So yeah. So it just I don't know, we'll see. Are you going to? Probably not. I can't play many games still. So No, oh, just Hearthstone. Uh, I don't think I will ever be a player, uh, like a multi-streamer. Good job at Team Fight. I don't know if I want to. It's, uh, I don't know. It's like, there's so much, like, it seems like there's so much drama, Team but like, not Team 5 at Blizzard, you know? So it's it's a weird one. Do I keep Sire? I think I do, actually. Uh, I mean, I'll probably, uh, Chad, if, if what, what could, ha I mean, there's, if I disappear, I'd, I'd probably go in the way of the fire bat where I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like go full, just quit and not say anything to people. But, uh, you know, I would probably just be like, I right, am done, you know, and then, uh, yeah. Or, but it's the most likely is I would get a regular job and just, do, that's what I did pre streaming, you know, so. But uh, but I like having the flexibility still. But here goes. An ambush.
gotta be scrappy with scraps. And this is to go even further beyond. The Mossy, thank you for paying the button, little kind of thank you. Get on that stuff, Dre. Thanks for missing me. Yeah, I think it's like, it's a thing of also like, there's just, I, I have all this anxiety on like, like the future and that like, I worry that Hearthstone just dies overnight. Um, and all of a sudden I'm not making a living and I have to decide like, you know, what am I going to take a risk on a game that's dying? Now it could say arrive. That's what I have to worry about. You know, um, there's so much, there's so much risk. Um, that, you know, so that's what I, you know, so it's a thing of what happens if I'm 45, it's been going well, then all of a sudden this and I have, I have on my resume, oh, I, I've been doing nothing but playing a video game for 15 years, you know, like that, that's what I worry about, you know, so. Okay, at 45 with this, yeah, that's good luck with that, dude. <laughs> um... Very <laughs> good. Um... Yeah, these, yeah, I know these are, these are fun, like, yeah, so... It's surprising uh, how many doors for being a past streamer. You think so, Ned? It's interesting. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is massive. I don't know. So. I don't. That's not going to happen, Brew Junkie. I don't. Uh, I can't even play most games. And uh, so. Yeah, so I don't know. Manage your own that that's good. So I don't know. It's just it's just a very uncertain life path, so Um, I don't think I would have much to contribute in other games. So It's one of those nice things that people don't realize like how many people just fail playing one game. And uh and how hard it is to be successful just playing one game. So people think, oh, like you could just switch games. Most people who switch games will not be successful. Um, so, I mean, so, you know what I mean? So, and it's like, am I going to work so hard to play, you know, when I could, uh, I don't know. These are just like these nice little things that aren't going to be practical. Most people go get a real job, you know, like, so it's, I don't know. I don't, uh, but we'll see. So I just think about this, you know, I think about this and I think like, you know, where's my life going, you know, so is really hard. Yeah. And by really hard, most people, so there are, there are, there are YouTube channels with 3 million views, subscribers where they switch to a variety stream and they lose their entire audience. It happens so often. Like three, like massively, massively, massively bigger than I am. Like, you know, where they have 10,000 streams, person streams, and they switch and their, their, their channel's dead.
Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, Hearthstone's still going well, but like that's this is the thing. And like, so if it's ten years from now, I'll be more tired. I'll be older. You know what I mean? Uh, I won't have the same. I won't just have the same drive. You know what I mean? So it's like, wait, why are they buffing this minion up? You think it had rush or something? It's questionable. Oh, they okay. They're giving it rush. I'm I'm an idiot. All right. I feel like I have to go Sire next turn. What do you guys think? Like, I'm too likely just to be dead. I don't have, like, a good spammy clear here, right? Sire looks very reasonable here. It's, uh, it's a full heal, and they're at 10 cards, so... You suck. But I do. Wait, I just go spammy here. I'm an idiot. That's actually insane, right? Wait, if I hero power this, goes it down to one, then this is one, two. Yeah, it's a full clear, right? Wait, that was dumb. I could have just... I didn't need to... I could have just hit it afterwards. I'd take it way less damage. I don't know. <laughs> and we're still going to win because I have... I, they're out of stuff, but that's kind of... That was dumb. Oh, wait. By still win, I mean I just threw the game. <laughs> and we lose. Damn. Feels bad, man. Oh, uh, God. Uh, can I hit scale here? I did, oh, this actually works. <laughs> that is a uh, a top deck save my ass. Yeah, I, I, I for some reason thought I had to do it before, which is just strictly incorrect, right?
I'm gonna go to the bathroom. It's getting a little bit cold, so I decided to go Jedi. <laughs> the towel look. This, this is my Obi Wan Kenobi uh, robe. See, the Jedi. I mean, it's we're playing on EU, and it's like really late at night where they are. I might just go Temple Oracle on three. Going first, I'm often waiting till turn four, because then you can hit Wild Bloom. More bones to uh, this is a negative. Ooh. Drowning your sorrows. Side of 
perfect. No, trust me. Gotta be scrappy with Why are 40 people playing it? I don't know. Variety. It has does some things that are reasonably strong. <laughs> Dude, I like. I mean, it's different people chat. If if everyone was playing priest, like the or like the best classes, which probably like priest and hunter, it'd be like, why is that? Why doesn't anyone ever experiment anymore? But yeah, it's, it's a decent deck. Cradle and all. Oh wait, they're not. You're right. They're not. Wait, wait. Oh, you're right. Why are they running Wicked Shipment? Oh no, it's for the. It's for the draw. Oh wait, may, are they playing hybrid over there? They're playing something wacky. That's all I gotta say. It's something wacky over there. Wacky McGee over there. They play Sire? They play every wig condition? <laughs> Sire, Bomb. Crap, I misclicked. Wait, wait, what the F is my opponent playing, by the way, chat? <laughs> what is this? What is going on here? Do 
Do you think Blizzard has weighted random values? Okay. I'll let you know a secret. So what Blizzard does is uh, this only works for those of you who have social media. So they, they part of the reason they want you to link your Twitch account for like for drops to Hearthstone is they can use that to track everything you say. And they have keywords that they look for. If you say things like Bobby is great and uh, I love the new thing, your RNG gets better. Uh, if you say bad things about Blizzard, your RNG gets worse. Um, and there's so, yeah. Makes sense? <laughs> Bobby's great, by the way. If I said that. <laughs> I'll explain my RG though. I, I wouldn't lie to you guys, all right? Viewers, <laughs> man should cost more. <laughs> It has 11. I've noticed this myself. We've, we've been dodging Guff a lot. It's annoying. Look, we're at 9 mana, 10 mana. Like, we barely have a ramp advantage this game. <laughs> Rude stones are amazing. I agree, dude. Give me the Guff, baby. All I want for my birthday is Guff, Wild Heart Guff. The silent Guff derp. Ah, oh, dude, I must have been shit talking Bobby lately. That's the only thing that could really explain it, right? Oh no, that's annoying. That's actually so annoying, chat. Oh god. My hand is too full. Ooh, good order, chat. Oh, that, that was a rough burn, Mercado, I agree. Let the ritual of absolution commence. Dude, these, these curses are getting out of hand. No, there are three of them. What to do? And all right, um, let's do this. I feel like I need to, okay, we drew guff, that's good. We take, uh, we take nine next turn, but we can't get cursed for a turn, so that's good. Um, we could go brand guff. That's not right, right? <laughs> we go brand, we can hero power, then we can sire to full health here. Um, oh, that's Star Wars quote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna clean that up? 
I agree, Marcato. I'm glad you I'm glad you're with me on that one. All right. Uh it's just bad design that uh I don't have that much mana, you know? Right? Just 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 bad design. Uh, my deck chat. All right, we always wait. We don't want agonies here. I was like, it's hmm. my best top deck. Planted evidence would be really good here. Hmm. Is it ever just Sire here? Like, they're low on card value, right? And that kind of full heals me. So... So I also can go Bran into this, take, they go down to 10, then I'm dead to like, double curse, right? Oh, I, I it's actually unlikely I kind of, it doesn't necessarily, so I go to 18, and then I go this, I get a free 3-3, three, three, right? Trade into this. I ramp, right? So that would be, that would be, they'd be at 10, right? So I would not die to one, cur I would die, die to two curses. Well, I kill off one of their things. So I think it is actually guff. I feel like I didn't want to risk it here. Oh, well now I'm effed. <laughs> I haven't hit that card. Oh, that sucks. Now I died a single curse. <laughs> it's probably a loss now. Damn. So many ways to lethal you. There weren't that many ways to lethal me. They've already used so many curses, but now, now that I gave them another curse, um, I got, I took the two damage. Um, now I'm dead to a curse, right? Yeah. We didn't die to one curse if I didn't draw the agony there, so. I don't know, maybe I outvalue them if I say, maybe that was a mis misplay, I'm not sure. I thought about it, so. I felt like I needed to hit the ramp there, but. Oh yeah, the curse did six, so. Why not draw with the last hero power to have a full hand? Uh, my hand wouldn't be full there. So th that's what I was thinking, Eleven, um, but I'm not sure. Like, if I, I'm not sure if I can pull off the win there. I don't know. Their, their deck is so wacky um, that I thought, like, so. Would it be cool? I don't think it would, that would actually be cool. <laughs> I think that would be annoying, but yeah. That's just me.
Furion versus Rexa. My fang and claw. Yeah, I mean, I think. I I think I think my play was very reasonable there. Ah, uh, they do that in um. They have an episode of Community where they do that with a coin, right? With a with a six sided die. No rope cover turn five. Well, we could have gone nourish. It actually was a decision. Um, we're about to crush him, though. We're about to do a really good turn here. Do I have any beasts in my deck? I know I already drew the starfish, right? This is a nature spell, so it's a uh, it's very tempting. I might still take it here. Still might be the right play, even though there's no beasts, because these kind of suck. I think a free three three is better here. 
Mm. You know what the play might be here? I can go one, two, three, four. Uh, it is not. It becomes a beast, but it isn't a beast. Um, or I can just ramp hard as hell here. Uh, I think it just ramp hard as hell is better. Irrational, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Uh, get on that subject, thank you so much, Irrational. This one eating party snacks. <laughs> hmm. Spammy full clear. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. I'm wondering how this works with um. All right. Okay. Oh, this is real nice. Oh, it gets the damage there. That's great. Doesn't spam me lose to daddy? They're on eight mana, dude. We're on we're on sixteen, so they got another few turns. But why did why did your chat become Russian? Ooh, that's not good. Okay, this was very bad. I did not expect this. Uh uh. This is very bad chat. This is very oh I hit scale. Um Which is this is nine mana. Uh, that sucks. Uh, am I gonna die? I might die. Oh god. Am I getting king crushed here? I am. Son of a gun. 
I'm gonna be killed for 10 months of finishing the skill. Not this turn. Get all that stuff. I think it's a jungle kill. I messed up there somewhere. I don't know. What was my mess up? That was a very strong play I did not expect. Um, witness the sub. Did we win? We did not. I mean, I could have uh, drawn instead of going ramp there. So, but. Yeah, Rat did. It was awkward for me to starfish. Like, um. Does Lady Bar work with Tamsin Flackery? It does. Um, wait, it does. So, thank you for the 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 bits, Min Sinister Defense. Thank you so much. Good. This is a good song. I'm liking it. Ghosting me? Oh, sorry, Stone Keep. <laughs> uh, that's what you get, yeah. Uh, should I ban the bot? But it's their first time in chat. Maybe they just don't know what's going on. Knowledge is power. I must protect the wild. Hmm. Ah, ah, I see you've brought chaos. Ah, ah, 
I see you've brought a guest. Hmm. Time waits for no one. Hmm. It was tough. I didn't know whether I should uh, go aquatic there, but I think the having the double star flume because I also could hit like the Druid of the Reef there, uh, just to like. Why don't you run Theotar? Uh, I don't have room for him. He's not that good. But uh, everybody just thinks Theotar is always good. Uh, but I don't know. Who knows? My Q, my Q is good. So I found two uh, reflections of Kalandra today, Phoenix. And I was just like on trying to just, uh, I sold one for eight divines. Uh, so my, my character's getting pretty good. I'm, uh, yeah. Has Battlemaster paid off? Not really. Yeah. So my 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 uh, my uh, I have an alk. My strategy is alk and go. My my farming strategy. Watch step. Is alk and go. Rush Maven bosses. And just pick up the the rune as fast as possible, and it's a uh, it's 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 not like I don't know what the, the amazing farming strategies are, but like a lot of times you'll hit a one that's worth a divine. You'll hit lots of maps that are worth like forty chaos. Like, um, is it that good for ladder? I'm gonna go with no, forty two percent win rate, but it's still a good time. I'm having I'm having a fun time. I don't know about you guys. I think uh, this is a, quite a fun deck. Just hit 93. Um... But yeah, it's a... Uh... I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun playing it. Almost too much fun. It's it's a nice like I don't know. Hearthstone. I can tune out, which is nice. I, I've had a lot of chronic pain this week, so I enjoy playing video games when I'm in chronic pain, basically. <laughs> oh, actually, I appreciate them giving me this flurry here. I appreciate you, but seriously though.
or control. I don't. Um, I like. Um, I I hate when Hearthstone's pure tempo. Um, I think tempo will always be important, but I don't like when Hearthstone doesn't have value decisions. So you can have like an aggro deck that has value. Like Naga Priest has is combo, but it's also using the board, um, and it's it has lots of value decisions. Um, it's a lot about efficiency, but it's also there are there are a lot of uh, so I don't like when the game just feels like it's just pure efficiency. It's like that's what United Storm would felt like, you know. Oh, uh, you're playing like you're playing uh, Garot Rogue Mirror. Even though Garot Rogue was the best thing, uh, like Garot was the I think the most fun thing in United Storm would, but it's just like who gets to their combo first. Um, and I like when you have to like have a value war, you know, I think that's good. I don't like when Hearthstone's just a tempo game. But this meta is fun right now, so. I love, yeah, it is fun. I, I think this this league is, I'm actually having fun this league. But it's just because, uh, why does Torbjorn so I can do one more damage to face? Because I don't consider my life total to be that important here. But uh, maybe I, maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Time will tell. Do I have BGBM in my hand? This must be the way. Oh, if I... Do I have enough mana to no, I can put him down to one life and not not lethal here? Seems pretty good. Uh because the game ends sooner. I don't know why people want the games to end sooner. Like, you know, they get number one. No, I did not. Or number two a lot, but not. The last night I took night. I'm probably taking tomorrow. I'm taking like a mental health week chat. Because, uh, which basically means I'm working like a 30 hour work week, which is like not even, <laughs> it's not even that big a deal. But it's such a competitive industry. You know, you're, you're afraid if, uh, you know, you take a, you take a, Take a few days off and <laughs> the world's gonna forget about you, you know, but Was that intentional? You win. I know, right, Limp? <laughs> Exactly. I prefer. Uh, I know that was the Funky Monkey called out J, J. Alexander in a very biased poll where it was like, would you rather lose in five minutes or ten minutes? I mean, and it was like, yeah, but the point is you hang in there and have a, it's about the journey chat. You know, it's, it's more would you like to play a, yeah. I, I, I think the moment you overvalue as a design team, making people not feel bad in Hearthstone, you, 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 you push Hearthstone into a more and more boring game. Uh, people are going to feel bad. You're going to lose. You're going to feel bad. You're going to curse the world. And then you're going to keep playing because uh, you're going to get hooked. You know? Get, Chad, think about this. What is the most addictive substance in the world? Probably heroin, right? And th that makes people feel really, really bad. 
So what can Blizzard learn from her heroin? Is that it's really important for people to feel bad. I don't know if this chain of logic really makes sense, but I'd say Bruce, that's true. I think there actually is psychological evidence of like the, the swings of happiness are important for gambling. Is gambling more addictive than heroin? Interesting. Another day, another no answer knowledge. Oh god. But seriously. <laughs> For 30 years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Or is it Coke? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I noticed, like, aren't all, like, Stephen King's characters alcoholics? Wait, did Bruce Lee overdose and die? Wait, how did Bruce... How did the... Died. Okay. I guess I never knew how. I, I guess I thought Bruce Lee was still alive, chat. Man, what have I. Okay. Man, now I gotta learn about Bruce Lee. I just. I just, just didn't really know. Okay. Let's see. I'm looking up on Wikipedia right now. Uh, where's death? Death. Oh crap, I gotta think, uh... Gotcha. <laughs> True movie. <laughs> He's murdered teaching the sacred arts. I like that better, Burn. Same thing with Elvis Presley, right? <laughs> For teaching the sacred arts. Uh... <laughs> it's me, Bruce Lee, <laughs> And Tupac. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sacred arts as well. They're all... They're all dealers of the sacred arts. I agree. Ooh, that's a good point, Stone Keep. All right, that's why I always. That's why. So, okay. If you watch a lot of streamers, you'll notice they give terrible advice sometimes on how to play the game. And you might think they don't know what they're talking about. All right. The truth is, every streamer knows if they give too much good advice, Blizzard might have them uh, destroyed, you know?
Yeah. <laughs> like, for example, players will say stuff like, I don't know. Like, insert deck is good. Obviously, they're covering for themselves, you know? You really think the streamers don't know what all the best decks are at all times? Of course they know, you know? So, but yeah, so they have to cover for themselves. It's very, it's, 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 makes sense if you think about it, you know? I get it now. Exactly, Stone. You understand. Oh, face. Okay, nice. Hmm. Obviously, I don't lie about Rush Warrior, though. That's obviously true. Eight drop. No. How? Wait, I could go brand uh, Butanus soon and clear this, which is pretty nice, right? Get in the belly. Whew. See, this is so much more satisfying than Theotar chat. I just made a 2022, 20, you know? Or 22, 22. I'm really sad when they have the nine thing. Like this card on the left is a nine mana spell, but. Get in my belly. Come on. But I do have starfish, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, they can steal my starfish and still die, but. Wait, aren't they still dead with this line? Oh, they have to hit starfish here, right? Die! Die, Yugi boy!
Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, God. Uh, I got my YouTube. And... Why no mansion? Wait, what happened? I was ring six feet because we're queuing too long. We're on EU. We could go to Asia. I kind of like chilling on EU tonight and not worrying about my rank. It'd be fun to go for number one again on America. So another night. I just don't click the, the, the stuff. Actually, let me, let me get my quests. Let me see if I have experience that I haven't clicked. I should probably do that. Chat, any friends in the chat want to wait? What's up with the reward track here? There we go. I got that one. I hate clicking all these things. Do I know like the 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 the, the addiction specialists say, "Oh, this will get the, these players addicted," but I hate this. I just want to play the game. It's kind of that's what I'm all about, you know. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay. So chat, would would you okay? If somebody said you could have a free Hearthstone collection for life, you know, uh, you actually have to click. The, well, you get it all at the end of the month, though, banter, like when they this. But so you if you wait to the end, it gives it all to you. Um, you could get a free a free Hearthstone collection forever. Or, all the cards, but Bobby has to sell one of his yachts. I, I think that would be a, a travesty that I'm not willing to do. So, I because of that, I I'm really happy to buy my Hearthstone cards every month. You know. <laughs> Bobby is RG. <laughs> Hashtag love Bobby. I know, right? Like, there are some things that, you know, everything comes at a cost, you know? And it just, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, think about it. Like, okay, what is the most important thing for your general happy? Like, acceptance of your peers. And Bobby obviously hangs out with all billionaires. And they all hang out and they show off each other's yachts. And they show off like how many yachts they have, right? Uh, so, so if you're, you know what I mean? Um, so it's a, uh, yeah. Not like this chat. They're thinking. They would never think about Guff, right? For hundreds of thousands of players? That, I'm gonna... Wait, maybe you're right, actually. How much is... Yachts are pretty expensive, actually. Oh, they low-rolled hard there. 
Wait, now that they low rolled, maybe I just go hard. Uh... Wait, they could shadow step this, right? Okay, I think I want to get my guff down while I can. Wait, I actually I could just I could just use tr tr X extortion on it, right? <laughs> pesos, I know, right? <laughs> Let's muddy the waters. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Bezos be like, I be making my delivery drivers pee in the truck, and you can't even get you, your players to buy a collection, you know? <laughs> and they all, then they all point and make fun of Bobby, you know? It's it's rough out there, you know. <laughs> come on, come on, chat. Man. I don't don't mess up my RNG over there. All right, you know what I mean. <laughs> you can't always trust what you see. <laughs> Are these nine nines actually? So four mana is this, right? So then nine mana would be, uh, oh, these are nine nines, right? Oh, I still probably have to do it. Oh wait, it's a three, three for some way. What? Wait, they're 11 11s, it's great actually. That's perfect. Okay, that worked out really well, chat. <laughs> we have plotted long now we rise. Exactly, Cram, you know? All the other billionaires going in outer space, you know? Wait, do we win here? Do we just win? Do they not kill both of these? Hmm, <laughs> not quite. By top deck scale, I had lethal here, right? What's the play here? I think I want to insatiable devour this. Uh, this could get awkward though. I mean, BGBM, wait, is BGBM ever lethal? Uh, no, right? It's not quite, right? That's what I'm probably going to do, Dark Seed.
I did bad math. Um, so it's four, and then it's five mana, five times plus two plus two. So, uh, so that's that's eleven. So yeah, I just I was just struggling with math. Yeah, so it's four for all the effects, and then it was up to nine because it was a twelve mana play. So, I just uh, Pepe it on the math there. Ooh, could I hit lethal here? Could I hit lethal? I have a uh, 32 damage. No, I don't think I can, right? There's no two mana spell that gives us four attack, right? <laughs> Is that incredible? Not the sheepies. Not the sheepies. Wait. Explain what just happened here, chat. Why are they... Oh, that was just some weird effects there. Oh, unluckies. Do I have lethals here? How much damage do I have? I think I have lethals, right? Um, especially with this Drew the Reef, right? I'm pretty sure I have lethal. See if I can get a lethal from this. It's more it's more stylish. <laughs> Does Pino do that? That's funny. Dude, I think Linko 10, I looked it up, got banned or something. I don't know. There, there was a period of time where there were like three Linkos in the chat. And then like they all disappeared. Like Avatar Last Airbender story style, you know? Mango 10. 
Wait, you are legal Ted? No, I don't believe you. Wait, where where are you from, Irrational Life? I remember where Lego Town was from. Well, well, where where do you live? I'm testing you. This sounds like a play. Philip's <laughs> 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 Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, dude, irrational life remembers. <laughs> that that is where Lake Ted lived. Yeah, I I did remember that. <laughs> that was your S. That was your S is to prove that you're real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... A good song. Oh, me. Do you like it? That's true, light. <laughs> you have much to answer for. Ah, ah, I see you brought a guest. Job done. This hand, though. Chad, this hand is, like, close, pretty perfect. Chad, name a better hand. Like, Chad, if you can, if you could start with a hand, the same hand against every, every, every deck, this would be, a, like, uh, probably the hand. What's a hand that's, like, because, you know, obviously some matchups you might want Drew the Reef, but... I do find it weird, like, because there are mil like, there are so many viewers, and the, the, isn't it weird that we have Lenko two of like the the ten Lenkos in our stream, like at least in, in the past. We're not we're still not sure if rational over here is lying, but. So that would be a success with no hit. All. How much? Are you uh, yeah, not a lot. You'd be able, you'd be able to help her get to legend, which is something that is quite frankly priceless, you know. Ooh, I you could post it in the Discord. I I would find that acceptable. Oh yeah. 
broken spell. Stack, no, they don't. Obsidian. Hmm. That's annoying. Is it spammy here? Can I do I can I get a full clear with spammy? I can. It's actually pretty good, right? Do I take the spammy clear? I think I do. I think I like that better. So I take spammy, I play this, I hero power the 3-3. Three, three. But I think I actually um conserve the innervate here and overdraw the 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 second part of the nourish. I could take scale and get like my, my sire juiced up, but I think I prefer this. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. That's what's happening. Hmm. There's like a Nixia here. Or Guff. Oh god, this dude, them hitting double relic is so hard to beat. I kind of uh, god. I have so many like like useless cards in my hand here, you know? Hmm. Ooh, I can always hit scale at the bottom of my deck now. I think I might just take that. Um, do I take Tolberone here? So I could go brand Tolberone here. Uh, chat, why do I, ha I why am I ever always unable to resist the brand Tolberone? It's such a bait play when I have scale, right? Oh, uh, but it's so like the value chat, you know? I go innervate. It's like a path to victory, you know what I mean? So I take off eight off the board and I said, ah, I kind of want to do the brand Tolburn. What do you guys think? Or is it just scale? Has to be scale. Well, scale, I can clear off a lot of stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what to do? Chat, my, I can't, I can't resist the Tolburn. I just can't resist it. It's a problem, chat, but, uh, you know, like... Because now I have, like, a clean pat. Like, I have a way to keep up with the tempo, you know? Like, I have, in, like, ridiculous amounts of free 3-3s, three you know? But this is still rough. I mean, this is bad. <laughs> so, uh, if we moonlit into... Um... Planted evidence, we could dirty high roll the shit out of them here, you know? So, I don't know. They're board locked here. So, I have to, like... I, can't, I don't think we can afford to play Guff here. I got it. I got the, I got the out chat. Alright, let's see what we hit here. Take Mark of the Wild. Hmm. Like, wait, I could draw my highest cost card, which is, um, which is the uh, the giant. Do I want to do that? I probably don't. Probably just take the innervate here. 
Um... I was too slow here. Not technically dead, right? I could have I could have gone and down um, two more of these, right? Innervate uh, wild growth. I could I could have gone the full clear actually. It's crazy. Damn. Uh, I could have gone the full clear. I was too too boomerish. I thought too long. So we boomer. We go innervate innervate this, and we get the we take twelve off, and then we're in a winning position with the sire. Uh, actually, so close. With better play, I think we win that game. Let's see. We, we take 12 less damage? Yeah, we do. On mobile, so no Discord. Gotcha. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't really matter. It's just for funsies, because... It's because it's also, like, it's kind of weird that we, we've talked about like, the different appearance of Lake Ted. And then, because you've been, I feel like, let me see your account, Irrational. You've been around for, account created in April 26th. The timeline, the timeline checks out. The timeline checks out, April 26th. Yeah. Well, there was also a link 06. Uh, a, let me see. Let me say user link 06. Wait, account created uh, April 11th. That one got suspended or deactivated. Oh, on April 11th. Ooh, that's around the same time as Irrational Wife. Uh, I wonder if Irrational Wife made link 06 because link 010 got deleted. What if there's something we're not hearing about? If I type Lanko 10, it's also, I think, uh, I, uh, I can't see the, the, the evidence. I hate that you can't see the evidence. They, they, you get, you get, you get, uh, it's like, it's like in, uh, Russia where they have you, uh, all trace of you deleted as a person, right? Ooh, that could easily happen at Paradoxy. And Lanko10 called her irrational. And she was really angry at that. So she killed him. And then she kind of does it as like, see am I irrational? You know, it's like she's kind of playing it up. I think that could be, you know, it's like interesting. That might be the most likely scenario. <laughs> that would explain why... She has the, the records of Lanko 10, you know? Maybe Lanko 10's got accounted because, you know, yeah, who knows? We are back, chat. Uh.
It isn't over between us, brother. You have much to answer for. Oh, I have no idea, dude. Uh, that's very weird. I mean, I don't know the... the Never alignment. Like our hands. Alignment could we could get to alignment pretty quickly here, right? But like we haven't hit any ramps, so like, yeah, it's probably just an aquatic form. Why on EU? Why why on NA? Yeah. <laughs> YMCA. Why? I don't know. There's like, I get a million. These are the, these are the kind of questions where, like, just a, uh, I don't know. Where it's always like, so why, why are you wearing a t shirt instead of a hoodie today? You know? Like, they're just things that, like, don't, I don't know.
Ooh, do I take the frost with kennels? Like that's a lot of uh it's actually so much value. Cause it's um I kinda like it. Cause it's like it's it's three things for the sire, right? <laughs> Why are you the way you are? Eyeliner today. Yeah, I don't know. Why did you kick my dog? Mr. Worldwide. Wait, what do you mean? Why am I Mr. World? Oh, yeah, because I, I play on all the servers. Chat, I'm an international man. Even though I, I, I am American, but I, I'm very international American, you know? I speak, I speak multiple languages. You know, uh, you know what I mean, chat? International man of mystery, yeah. <laughs> exactly, all right. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Oh, thank God, it's by the ladies. Exactly. American Eagles Fest. Lot. You know, to be honest, okay, here's the thing. When you try and learn a foreign language as American, it's hard because the whole world speaks English. And I've been in other countries, like, trying to learn my Spanish and trying to learn my Portuguese. And people won't speak to me until, like, because they're... Because they they have this, like... Because they're like... Uh... So everyone craps on America for not being able to speak multiple languages. But it's kind of, the, the, the system kind of just incentivizes it, if you know what I mean, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what? <clears throat> Australians don't speak, uh, usually on, like, I've been, I've traveled a lot. In my like early twenties, so I stay at hostels, and there's always Australians at hostels. They like they love. I swear, hostel is Australian for like home or something. Uh, but they never speak. They only speak English. Like you know, where like the Europeans and the Latin Americans all speak multiple languages. You know what I mean? So ex that's what I'm saying, Mojo. You know. It's it's hard to motivate yourself to learn another language if your surroundings don't incentivize you for it. So it's not like I just like Spanish and Portuguese, and that's why I, like I traveled and I learned it. I wanted like just knew I wanted to learn them. Uh, I learned Spanish. I liked Spanish when I took it in school, and I would just practice Spanish with my friends. Um, but yeah. Uh, I could hit some really good cards here. Ooh. Miracle Growth is good, but like Innovative Nixia is insane here, right? Two Nixias, like, it's so.
Yeah. Yeah, Portuguese was much harder than Spanish, I remember. Ooh! Nice hits. Okay. Do I ever have lethals here? Wait, I have BGBM. Uh, they got another relic. Oh, God. What? How? The scams, chat. So the 8-8 never dies, and we always go BGM. Sorry. Anybody? A watery grave no, not like this chat. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. The 8-8 always lives. 8-8 always lives, chat. Wait, no. 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 Please. Yes! Die. Die, Yugi boy. Every day he wakes up. <laughs> True. I'm gonna give him more. Wait, oh, that was a fast cue. <laughs> it ties on it, eh? <laughs> do you ever... Dude, I do find it interesting when you go and you uh, watch like someone streaming Hearthstone in another language and the cards are saying things like... That's what's interesting with the, the cards are streaming saying things in another language, you know? It isn't over between us, brother. You have much to answer for. Ooh, this hand -off. Hey, I'm gonna go get some sausages. Or not some. Oh, some... For runs, it could be fun. But that's like, that's work. Just lazy, you know? What do you think is the optimal order here? Um, I went this into this. I could have just done this into this, into wild growth, into but I'm not really sure what's optimal here. I know I have a lot. I'll have a lot more mana now, faster. But oh, that's very lucky. Um, that's very lucky. Because now I can go um. Innervate 7 drop, and then I can go Jerry Rig. Yeah. Right. So if I go this Innervate ramp, I go to 8, 9 mana. So I don't set up for Raid Boss, right? I would ramp to 8, 9, yeah, so... Maybe I go aquatic, because if I could ramp to raid boss, it might be even better, right? Well, that blows. All right, well. I, I could probably just play scale now. I guess I should innervate. No, no, if I'd hit nourish, I would have gone nourish and jerry rig. Um, so you don't, you don't use the, uh, aquatic there. 
Dude, I swear my opponents every game have Relic into like Relic of Phantasm. I swear. It's some bull crap. Patched up. If I got a buff here, I would have lethal, I think. Right? If I got up to 15 and then 15 plus uh, 15 plus 12, yeah. So if I get plus one, plus one buff, it's lethal here. Let's go, dude. I just wanted the feeling of drawing up there. Why tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even viable right now. I keep losing games. I don't think it's very good, but. I think it's also like I need to adjust to like the the post uh, Snowfall Guardian world because like I played in a style that relied on Snowfall Guardian. I think you have to play it differently. So how does it feel to good to own the plebs, dude? It's a uh, it's it's a big responsibility, Johnny. Because look, while I crush dreams, I also enable dreams because I, I force. Uh, so all rise into elite Hearthstone players, you know? It's a big responsibility, you know? Who is it? 
<laughs> Randall well thank you. Who was our opponent last? Fruit. I enable it to disable dreams. Yeah, 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 laughing. It's always the, the right balance between like in life between on one end you can be such an asshole that you just piss everybody off. But this there's, there's also the end, you know, that you're so loving and caring that you soften people up. And it's just that, that that right line between like not being too much of an asshole, but not like you know, sh over sheltering people from the world. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I want one of these days. That's <laughs> a lot like me. One of these people that come through the deck review, and I'm like, this deck is terrible. What do you do it? I want one of these days. One of those people to cut back with a meta breaker, <laughs> soft assholes, yeah. Uh, and be like, look, you telling me my deck suck motivated me to greatness. You know, that would be nice. Soft bully, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Malfurion like, think about this. Like, uh, I feel like I've bullied banter on ladder so many times, and then he makes worlds, and I don't. You're welcome, Banter. All right. I need wild growth or innervate, please. Innervate. Let's go, dude. That's so good, actually. That, that, that's so good. Because this, this speeds up my curve so well. And I can this into scale. Origins of No Hands. The, the Marvel movie is coming out next year. So it'll all become clear. Right? No hands, the origin story. Turn the bad out of your lame. Dude, it's amazing how many like re origin stories they've made. From oh, yeah, am I about to get wrecked here? Well, I have Insatiable Devour at the bottom of my deck. So if I could draw that, uh, right? Uh, what's the play here? Hmm. Innervate Miracle Growth could just give us a two turn, right? Became number one. Yeah, you could actually, yeah. I gotta pitch it to a movie, but they're gonna like add a bunch of drama. Like, uh, they'll have to add like 
massive like amounts of like hot chicks that watch Hearthstone, you know? And I'll have like a love interest, obviously, and I'll get the girl at the end, I'd like real life. <laughs> you know? Cuz that's that's what happens in Hollywood. Like you I don't know you guys know like the social network where they like made like Mark Zuckerberg have some like weird like he made Facebook to like get his girlfriend back, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody's nobody sexy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy guacamole chat. They're doing a lot over there, okay. What's gonna happen? They're going to weapon here? But they don't have it here, right? I have an insatiable devourer and a scale at the bottom of my deck. This is interesting. I'm making, wait, okay, here comes the four drop, right? Wait, what? I win, right? Wait. What is going on here? This this rope is getting ridiculous, chat. Not gonna lie, this rope is out of hand. Out of line. Wait, oh, they have another four drop in hand. Oh my god, chat. This is pretty amazing, honestly. Hey. Alright, what do I do here? Um, I don't even know. If I can avoid two turn. Holy crap, chat! But I I might be able to win because I just I just go scale into taunts here. Um. Oh wait! Oh no! The thirty three thirty three. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta think here. Um. So I have scale, right? Um. But I have to I have to get multiple taunts. Oh god, this is it seems really hard. Oh god! Oh god, chat! What do I do here? What's the play? All right, I think it's scale here. Or is it insatiable? Insatiable is a way to... Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to use the hero power here. Oh, I actually had a, I actually had a plan there that would have worked. All right. You see, I could have done something else there. Um. Oh, I'm dead. Damn. Dude, what was that turn, chat? Oh, God. Get in my belly! Rub out there.
Queen of Lava. I must protect the wild. That's really good. I might buy them. Time waits for no one. You, you, if you were watching the beginning of the stream, there was no getting guff all the time. Let me tell you. All right. Okay, this is pretty good, though. Not gonna lie, this hand's pretty insane. I got excited, chat. All right. More bones Pure skill, dude. I think it was actually the most skill possible there. All right, let's play around the guitar here. Going face with that? That's very surprising. Ooh, is it ever miracle growth? I don't know. This is a free. This is a. This is too good. Getting a free wild growth and a three three. And I have plenty of draw here, so. Very annoying. Holy guacamole, chat. That's very bad. Um, okay.
So, with this amount of mana, I can go Bran, Insatiable Devour, and I can gain a ridiculous amount of stats, and then go Earthen Scales, and heal, like, a ridiculous amount. And it's before their Devour, so it's a very, very strong play. Um, so, that's my plan here. Um, I can even, if they evolve here, it's, it's, it's actually good for me, you know? So, uh, yeah, I think this is a... Let's see if they do good placement though, because they could uh, they could block it, right? Yeah, that's annoying. So they're doing good placement here, unfortunately. Let's see what they hit here. Okay, they low rolled. Nice. Look at that. Woo! Look at that, chat. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. A thing of beauty. And I just BGP up next turn now <laughs> for lethal. <laughs> oh, it's a glorious. Gladys! Gladys! Do I have lethal here? I do, right? Wait. Oh, I'm off, right? Dang it. I'm so close. So close to lethal. Is that lethal? 42? I'm just off, right? Damn. Forty-two, I'm one off, right? Yeah. Jim, I'm I'm slow on the math. Ooh, they're not even getting the hero power in here. Da, da, you good boy.
One second, chat. All right, later, Lenko. Uh, it's lo it's lonely out here. Maybe we got about forty minutes left of the stream, then I'll call it a night. But yeah, it's a. Uh... There we go. Guide me to victory. I must protect the wild. I could do that, Rubek. That's a good idea, actually. Oh, interesting. This is an interesting spot. Where, where I'm not sure if I'm supposed to always nourish for ramp, even though I almost always try to nourish for ramp. Um, we would love to hit a value card, like a miracle growth here. Is it aggro? Ooh, that looks like aggro actually, chat. So. Yeah. Do I go fast wild growth here? So I have three mana next turn I can hero power. I don't think I think here's the play. Time waits for no one. Mm. 
Yeah, maybe I do actually. Love to hit spammy here. I could go moonlit, try and search for spammy. Ooh, I think I just take the jerry rig. You gotta be scrappy with so, it might be innervate, nourish, moonlit because um, because we could hit scale for the next turn. That's probably the play. Hmm. I also could hit a uh, starfish for the next turn, right? But I'm taking a lot of damage here. This is tough. Well, now I could go for um, planted. I think I'd rather go for the moonlit. I can go planted if I'm desperate for next turn, right? I hit a bunch of crap here. This is terrible. All those are worthless cards. I think I go face here. Um. So I think my most likely out is like planted into scale here. Um, planted into moonlit into maybe smothering to keep us alive as well. I also could go like, if I can prevent a two turn here. Okay, this is very unfortunate. Holy damage, I'm only... Other than top deck starfish, I don't think I ever win here. Man, that was efficient. It was a very efficient curve. Uh, so tough to beat this matchup. Okay. Probably take taunties. Like, what do I even? How do I even theoretically stay alive? I don't think I have a theoretical out here. So I can kill off a 5-5, five, five, put some taunts, they go trade, I'm still super dead. Oh. I can see. Mm. I'm kind of feeling tired, chap. I can feel the exhaustion. Feeling tired, I might call it early. I wanted to make it longer, but I am I am a little like lots of chronic pain this week. A little bit of chronic pain, so I'm just a little bit weaker. 